In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable business process within Dynamics 365 customer service hub application. Or for a matter of fact, you can use this for any model driven app as well. So what is a business process flow? So basically, if I, uh, so I'm in the case uh, record for my customer service hub application. And now if I navigate to one of the case record, uh, I will be able to see something called as a business process flow on the top uh, top part of the navigation. If you see here, this is a business process which uh, is a part of this particular uh, case entity. So if I navigate to this record, uh, I can see that there are various steps which I need to complete in order to mark this record as complete. Now, the goal here is that uh, if you are not exactly using the business process which is followed, uh, process, which is provided by the system, then uh, maybe it's wise to remove that from the application itself. So take for example, if you are developing a case entity uh, form, and if you don't want to have this business process in the form, then what you can do is first is you need to navigate to your application, okay? And open this application in App Designer. Once you do that, your application will be opened in a designer studio. Now, on the left hand side, if you see there is something called as automation. Okay, so if you click on automation here, you will be able to see all the business process flows, which is part of your application. So there are so many business process flow. Now, remember, if you again go back to the form, let me see what was the name of that business process. So the name of the business process was phone to case process. Okay. Now here, if I find out phone to case process, I can click over here and then I can say remove phone to case process. The moment I do that, it will just remove from this app. Okay. And it will put it over here and not, not in this app section. Okay. Now, if there are multiple business process applied to a specific case entity, then quite possible the other business process flow may take into effect. Okay, so you if you want to remove it completely from this application itself, then there is a switch over here, it says include all business process flow in the app, you can either turn it on, or turn it off. Okay, so if you want to have all the business process flow in the app, you can turn this on. If not, you can turn this off. Okay, now like this, you can remove all the other business process which you don't want within the application. Okay, so let me remove all the business process flow. Let me close this. Yeah. Now you need not remove all because for a case entity, there is only phone to case business process, but I'm just showing you how to remove all. Okay. So at least one, it says at least one business process flow is recorded. You cannot remove all business process flows. However, you can either keep this last remaining business process flow or you can restore all business process flow that are placed on this table. So let me say, keep this last one, okay? And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just click on save and publish. Once it is published, I'll go and refresh my screen. So you need to do a hard refresh. So I'm in cases over here and let me do a hard refresh and do a control F5. And if I click on any of the record, now you see the business process flow has disappeared. Okay, now this is for this record. Now let me go back and open it for other record. 
and it is same for all the records. So this is how you basically remove the business process flow if you are not actively using that for your application. Now, this is not specifically for this entity. It can be for any entity. It can be for any model driven app or if you want to have business process flow for one v uh, form and if you do not want it for another form, then also you can do the same thing. So if you see here, there is a Girish custom form. This is a separate custom form. Now in this Girish custom form, I don't have any business process flow defined, but if you want that to be part of it, then yes, you need to edit this form. And then once you edit this form, then you can enable those business process flow. That's it folks. Thanks for watching.